when we have all them. Hello everyone of you are just joining, I'm just quickly sorting everything else because I've only just got in. Okay, should all be good now, so welcome everyone to round 3 of the no assist here, here at the Pongara ring. We've got, so far got a wet quality, only got 11 people sadly. See, too late mate with the provisional poll at the moment, 26-9. Mm, followed by Harry on a 27-1, learning the wheel third on a 27-4. Being wet quality, this is probably going to open up the race for one stop strategies for nearly enough every single driver. We have Chopper coming out in two minutes to go in the Ferrari. Do you have anyone else on outlaps? And Dark RT. Currently down in last place. Is he starting a lap? Yes, he is. And down pit straight. Downhill breaking of turn one. Little lock at the left front. Gentle on the throttle. Decent exit from the Haas. Again, another downhill breaking zone of turn two. Short shifting, taking it very cautiously as Dark RT. Not wanting to spin up to 10 4. How committed is he? Takes it nicely. And short shifting out to 10 5. Into the chicane. It's a bit deep. Now into the S's. How committed can the base learn the wheels of 26-6 to go fastest? See Dark RT understeer through 10-11. 1.8 seconds up though. Into 10-12. Again, locks both fronts. Locks both of them again into 10-13. Now through the final corner, nice and gentle, round he comes, does he improve on P10, yes he does, he goes P8, so we've got two late mates starting his final lap, and just, I don't think, Harry is on an out lap and he is not going to make it for another lap, and he is not. What can too late make do? Very squirmish on the power. Nice and gentle through turn two. Not quite flat through three again. A little bit of a kick from the back end. He's down on his provisional time. As you see, the track is very much dried in some areas. You see, again, there's intermediate. I think they've reached, as learned the wheel goes even faster in the racing points. It's got to, it's got to be something special from Tool at the moment. Nice and gentle, the track is nearly dry as he runs wide, it is purple, he doesn't invalidate 
Four temps up. Lock up into turn 12. Just having to fight the car so much. This tool here. Through the final corner. Holds it in fourth. Now he can plant the power. Up to the line. And it is pole position for the Renault. 126.469. Didn't look fast, but it was fast enough. And Dark Hatty is still out on track here, so they're coming into the pits. DRS gets enabled. Will that give Catsby a short burst to the line? Let's see how it's a fuel. Yeah, he's out of fuel. And Dark Hatty retires during the session. And drying out towards the end of the session. But it will be two late mates on pole position ahead of Lynn, the wheel, and Harry Cully and Vision on the second row. Carcraft and Trocker on the third. Catsby, Dark RT, making an all has fourth row. Fingerhook and New Squithers round out the top ten, and Winter with no time lines up P11. So, with it being a wet qualifying. Everyone getting free choice for their tyres in the race. I imagine that near enough everyone will most probably pick the mediums and do mediums to hards. This is the desired strategy around Hungary. Of course if it doesn't rain in the race like it has done in qualifying. But it is dry for the drivers. And luckily the game has not put me in a car, which is good. Everyone loading in. Just get all my stuff back up. Let's see, and we have uh, the, the 11 drivers. We have Widger, Fingerhook, and Dark RT choosing the soft compound tyre to start the race. Carcraft choosing the hards. Might find it a bit difficult, the racing points, to warm those up, especially on the formation lap. But everyone else choosing the mediums. Very interesting from the people who haven't picked mediums. Especially Carcraft picking the hard, softs, maybe not as unpredictable, especially Widger considering he is down in P11. You know, nothing to lose starting P11 in the Renault, but it's dropped very far back on the formation lap for some reason. Gonna be another interesting thing is going to be penalties as we had Vision going off on the formation lap. It's just as I talk about track limits, this won't be very interesting for track limits. It's hard enough with assists, but these people obviously having no assists gonna make it a significant amount harder as you saw the strategy there, desired one stop or two stop I think most people will do the one stop and probably everyone maybe do the one stop as Witcher still hasn't as everyone as you can see is coming through turn, is in the complex of turn 13 Witcher is only going through turn 12 I'm not sure if that's intentional for him backing off have to wait and see. Let's see all line up. 
to wait for Widgers to come on line up. In his 11th place. He kind of got a good camera for this race start. Is it just going to put me back here with everyone? Looks like it is. I don't know, we've got a decent one. Five red lights. And we are green and hungry, and it looks like Tool's got a best getaway. Linda Wheel's not got a decent one from P2. Vision from fourth. It's going to look for the inside of the racing point. And Vision is going to get up into second place as the timing pages have already glitched out. It's in Troppen fighting with Dark RT. Yeah, it's Dark RT, I think. No, that's Catby. Just got a head and all oh, trucking around the outside of turn five. Makes a move. We're just following him through. A very decent start from Widger. Is I'm not. I have no idea what. He's up already to P7 already. On those softs, his vision running very wide for turn 11. You see, biggest gainer off the start is vision. Making two positions. And of course, Widger making up four on those soft compound tyres. You see, it's two. Leads them across the first lap of 35. Vision in second, Lynn in the wheel in third. Harry Cully is fourth. Things. Car Carcraft is fifth. And Trocker and Widget looking, Widget looking to get past the Ferrari as New Squid has picked up a three second penalty already. You know, Widget, big lock up. Now through turn three, and oh, he's gonna catch it, oh, he's not! Into the wall goes the Renault. And he had, and he's hit retire. Big off. Not sure if that's caused the safety car. I don't think it has. No, it has not. It's just yellow flags in sector one and two. And see Tool more than a second gap at the moment. Back to vision. Linda Wheel. Keeping vision very honest. Staying within that DRS. Vision big slides out of 10-13. Through, through turn 14, is Linda Wheel close enough? Don't think he's quite close enough to go for any move. No, he's not. It's a very large field spread already. On just lap, just the end of lap two, we've got people on Carcraft and Trocker already more than six seconds off two lane in the lead. And new Squid, has he been into the pits? Has Linda Wheel already picking up three seconds at just the start of lap three? No, new Squid, this has not been into the pits, so he must have had an incident with someone. So, truck a bit of a slide through. This car craft running wide. Vision picks himself up a three second time penalty already. Apologies for the camera angle. I'm going to have to put up with my camera angle. But I haven't reset it to my custom ones for commentary. Both truck and car craft big lock ups into 13. Not helping the tyres at this stage. Already is. Look back to the front, Vision has managed to get himself within the DRS of Tool. Is Vision going to be able to challenge? At some point in the next few laps. Linda Wheel doing well to stick with them. They're dropping Harry. 
then there's a huge gap after Harry of six, seven seconds back to Carcraft and Trocker. He's then got a bit of a gap to the two Haas cars. There's all vision picking up the dirt out of the chicane. And he has now lost that one second to two late mates again. He's going to have no DRS this time. His vision used all of his battery as well. When the wheel still got more than 50%, two late mates still got more than 90% battery. As again, vision with a lock up into turn 13. Again, loses the back end. Can Lane the wheel get a good exit? Now, ERS, DRS. Down the pit straight, 4P2, light flashing for vision, down the inside goes learning the wheel, nice simple overtake, vision rather gets a nice cut back, and he's lost a lot of time on that exit and learning the wheel is up into second place, retaking that second place that he lost on the first lap. Now can he chase after two late mates and give us some action for the win? The two race winners so far running one and two. Any more baffled car craft has lost an, on those hards has lost another second to Harry in just one lap. Those hards are not working and he's holding Trocker up. It's not helping these two car craft being on the hards and they are actually losing time to Dark RT who is on the softs behind them. And Carcraft runs a bit wide. It runs very wide. That time does Carcraft and Trocker is now within half a second of the racing point. Again, another big lock up. Linda Wheels has the fastest lap of 118.4. Is he going to go and chase after two late mates? We're going to focus on this battle for P5s. Around the final corner. Carcraft with a look, seemingly looks like a lot more battery than Trocker at this stage of the race. Is Trocker going to go for a lunge? No, he is not. Again, Carcraft goes very deep. He's not liking those hards at all, is Carcraft. Not got a lot of pace. Now down into turn two, Trocker swoops around the outside. Very easy move. Carcraft not fighting there on those hards. Look very poor as we're well. in the wheel now within half a second of too late, mate. Who picks himself up his first penalty of the race? And see, becomes the fourth driver to get penalties in this race. Let's just, and see as well, Trocker in just five and a half laps has lost 15, nearly 16 seconds to too late, mate. Out front, and you see two of a small lock up into turn 13. And laying the wheel very much looking like the fastest driver on track at the moment. As two stop windows open for hards, I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Would not want to pit for hards now, game, especially getting rid of those mediums. Carcraft and Trocker again having another ding dong battle into turn one. This time it's Carcraft with the DRS. And again, Trocker around the outside of turn two, locks up, goes for a cutback on the racing points. Can he get him up to turn four? Realistically, can't go side by side through that corner. This Carcraft goes a little deep into turn five. But all of this squabbling between these two, Dark RT now is within DRS of the two of them in the Haas. There's all Trocker spins. It's got front wing damage. Can't quite. T no, he's kept it out. I think that might be lime green damage for the Ferrari. Can't quite tell. Ah, it's going to have shot those mediums as well. Now that has released Dark RT. Can he now chase after Carcraft? 
And again, Karkath looks he is struggling so so much on those hards. He's now 19 seconds off the lead. And the leaders nearly have a pit stop on him after just seven laps of this race. Did he drop a pit? No, he didn't. And Vision picks himself up another three second penalty. Very nearly drops it, does Vision out of turn five. Return to this battle at the front. This car craft picks up another three seconds. Another small lock up from Tool. And again, at this stage, Tool has a significant advantage with the battery power compared to learning the wheel. As you have more yellow flags, and I believe that is. And if Squidus has made a mistake at 10 2. See, Linda Wheel not choosing to use any ERS down the pit straight. But he's, keep, he's very much keeping to late mate on us as we have Yellow Flags in the final sector. Who is that for? Oh, it's Dark RT! Is he broke? Yeah, he's broke the end plate on the left hand side as well. And into the pits comes the Haas. Again, laying the wheel through the corners. It very much looks like laying the wheel is much better through the corners, but too late, mate, has, a, has got more pace on those straights with having more battery to use. As we have, Dark Arty is followed into the pits by Fingerhook. In the Alfa Romeo, onto the hards goes Dark RT, probably to the end of the race at this stage, so does Fingerhook. Again, this is one of the only battles on track at the moment. Through the final corner. Again, Tool just using the battery off of the final corner and it just gives him enough of a buffer to learn in the wheel makes it so that he can't challenge him into turn one he's now got Trocker after that spin he's now caught back up to the back of Catsby Trocker big slide through 13 this new Squidus picks up three seconds but can Trocker get close enough to Catsby on this lap? And down the pit straight, he's nowhere near close enough to the Haas who locks up though. He's a little bit deep, does Catsby? Is that going to fight a move? No, it's not. Not quite on this occasion, Trocker has a look. He's got, he's got very close off that as Catsby lifts off. He's now come up and Trocha, it's very easy to take. Dark RT has retired from the session. So the leaders now coming through the traffic of Fingerhook and Noof Squidus. You should be getting out the way, guys, if there's blue flags. I know you're racing each other. The rules are that you do have to get out the way and pull off to let the faster cars through. Not affected either of them as Fingerhook and New Squidus are going to go do battle on different tyre compounds. And Fingerhook has got past the McLaren on this occasion. And two leaders in the wheel, very sticking in that one second window. Oh, too late, mate, but as the nature of this track, you call Monaco about the barriers. There's just not a lot of opportunities to make any overtakes around this track. This one, I think, might well just come down to who gets the better strategy. Then the real time this time is a lot closer coming through the final corner. 
This time it's only five tenths, but as you can see, the gap goes up and down, and that is still using his battery. Just not enough speed in a straight line. Of course, the higher downforce you run, the less effective the tow is. Still running what very wide through turn three. Now drop vision by around about four seconds. His finger hook picks himself up a three second penalty, leaving only Catsby and Trocker without penalties. As you're about to fade away through this race, vision picks up another three seconds. I think that takes him to nine. And it does vision currently in P3 dropping back from these two at the front. Keeping a decent distance to Harry in P4, but move back to vision in the Mercedes. Brian driving a very lonely race is vision at the moment. To taking P2 and lap one. Since he's lost out the lane, the wheel has just not been able to hang on to those two at the front. Again, Lynn, the wheel just not able to get anywhere close. And notably, I've just realised, Catsby, after being overtaken by Trocker, recovering from his spin, is still only about a second behind the Ferrari. From tier 3 driver to the tier 1 driver. Doing a decent job as Catsby in the house at the moment. Still got a decent amount of battery as well. Of course, everyone's still to make a pit stop. I think, think Fingerhug is actually the only person who's made his pit stop. And he is. He's the only person who's made. Mandatory stop on the hards. He should be going to the end. Turn to this fight at the front. At this point now, Lane the Wheel is the only car on track who has DRS. Runs wide out the final corner. Might get himself a warning for that. But again, not using any battery. But as you see... If he's not using any battery anywhere around the lap, he's not regaining any battery, and that is the nature of having high downforce. You're slower on the straights, your braking zones are shorter, you don't regenerate as much ERS. And it is a it is a very painful thing to sit there and every single piece of ERS that you use, you're never gonna get back from the start of the race. So you need to manage this and it's realistic you've got Tool has been very consistent with managing to be on double the ERS the learning the wheel has at this point of the race. It says you just can't break that one second from the racing point. The approach round about lap 16 in pit stop window. Maybe lap 15. Is Lenny the Wheel going to go for an undercut? On two, he will feed out into a lot of clean air if he does, because there is a huge gap between Harry and Carcraft still. He's got Vision is now coming into the pits. Presumably for the hards. Promotes Harry to P3. Service by those Mercedes mechanics. I think Vision should comfortably beat Carcraft, who is coming around the final corner now. As we have, oh, Linda Wheels crashed. Coming out of turn three, and it's only a virtual safety car. Now, is that time to pick? Trocker is taking the opportunity upon himself to pick. Catsby does not. Trocker gets it all slowed down. But the fight for the lead and Lane the wheel might well have that crash for Lane the wheel might well have. Sorry, gets three seconds. 
Look, letting the wheel retiring from the session. I think that's taking the sting out of this race. Carcraft picks himself up three seconds. Yeah, there's not a lot in this race now. Tool has 14. Oh, that's sending um, in two cars. His closest challenger now for Tool's vision is some 24 seconds behind him. Albeit Tool does have to pit, but it's not a huge time loss pit lane around Hungary. And again, they're not choosing to pit to get rid of those mediums. There's only now does the game say that the pit window is open. But I think at the moment for Vision, if he puts his foot down on those hards, gets him up to temperature, he might, he's definitely gaining on two lay mates at the moment. If he goes fast enough Vision, he could just about sneak into that undercut territory. As this is a purple fair sector, this is Vision is really going for it. He knows there's an undercut on the cards as Fingerhook gets out the way, respecting the blue flags this time in the Alfa Romeo. Vision absolutely flying on those new hards. This tool is now coming into the pit. His vision is very much going to set the fastest lap of the race. I think Tool has reacted at the perfect time to Vision's pace. As Harry stays out for yet another lap. Comes trundling down the pit lane, does Tool. Got 100% battery as he leaves the pit. Vision sets that fastest lap of a 17.8. And that gap has definitely decreased between Vision and Tool. One or two more laps, and two of the left lap, Vision might well have just been able to undercut him. Must be Harry has carried on. There's oh, all oh, Harry through turn five. Really good catch from the McLaren. And he is now running as well with near enough a full battery as his tool. Carcraft still in P4. In pretty much world of his own, other than the back markers. Huge gap behind him, and those hards just. Wrong call to start on those hards. From Carcraft. Got Harry staying out another lap on those mean on those mediums. Harry stretching them. Ridiculously far into this race, as is um, Catsby. Nusquidus is now coming into the pits. Chocker, again, people very spread out in this race. And the nature of this circuit is not an enjoyable track. But I do f if Lane the Wheel was still in this race, could have been a bit more interesting as Vision gets is now up to 12 seconds, Tool is up to 6. There's this Harry on 6 as Chocker. It's getting past Katu's in the pit lane. And Chocker back up into P5. As Tool picks up another 3 second penalty on this lap. So he is now up to 9 seconds. Vision within 2 seconds. Don't know here. Vision is doing enough to keep Tool honest, but at the moment I think he needs Tool to get another two penalties. 
Division once any chance of challenging him. And noticeably, Harry carried on again. It's not using any battery, is Harry either. Oh, tool, big slide. Through the middle sector. Just pulling away from Vision ever so slightly on this lap. Big lock up from Vision. Is Harry, and again Harry decides to stay out. Surely Harry is not stretching this for softs. That would be impossible around this circuit on board with him just with this for three seconds it's definitely a blister on that rear left on the McLaren there's also one the front left as well so if yellow flags and oh truck has made another mistake as this this time as he escaped damage again no, he hasn't. He's surely going to have to pit again, and surely is going to have to pit for the mediums. And Trocker into the pits. He's not going to lose a position. He's going to lose out to Catsby. However, Catsby is on the softs, and he is definitely not going to get to the end on those softs. So he probably will regain that P5, but any chance of catching Carcraft, who has also now made his pit stop, have been eliminated. You see, Harry egg. It's Carcraft has three seconds. Harry again. 20 laps Harry has now managed to do on those mediums and Tool is now within the DRS of the McLaren as Trocker comes out of the pits a lap down on the race leaders Tool locking up into turn 2 getting very close to Harry who is very much struggling to put the power down And Tool getting very close. McLaren, those tyres have finished. On Harry Tool has to look into the chicane. Not enough room. And through the S's and he's just going, and he nearly taps Harry. And this is costing Tool a huge amount of vision. Now, out of turn 11, Tool, is he going to get it? Done. No, he's, Harry's going to fight it, and Harry is very willing to fight this. Got all right to. And he's making that McLaren as wide as possible. And Vision is now within the DRS of Tool. He's going to the pit straight again. Tool looks to the outside. Harry's going to fight it again to force him the long way round. Just Harry just not got the grip on those 21 lap old mediums. He hung on to it for as long as he could. He couldn't quite. And now Vision is going to come out and Vision's going to go round the outside of turn 4. Harry lifts. This tool very nearly makes a mistake, but all of that fighting with Harry. Harry has actually put a race on for us now. His vision. His tool runs wide again. And said, so, oh, they both pick up penalties. Oh, Vision had kept that clean, he would have been equal on penalties with Tool, but instead he remains, so he's got three more seconds. But can he keep that DRS? Can he do what learning the wheel did? 
and hold that DRS of the Renault. Mr. Renault just going to run away with it as Harry finally comes into the pit and gets five seconds of speeding in the pit lane in the process and I don't think he's going to be a very happy, happy person to talk to at all after that lap with being stuck behind the McLaren. Vision is holding at the RS at the moment. He's got to stay within it. He wants any chance of winning this race. His vision loses that gap to runs wide though as his trucker through 10 9. Vision again running wide. Just pushing so hard to stay within that DRS of Tool. He's just about going to keep it. Again, he's having to use that battery to keep it, whereas Tool isn't using a lot of battery to pull out and pull away from him. Into turn one, Vision getting really close on the brakes. His Vision has got a really good exit out of turn one. He's right in the gear, practically pushing Tool through turn two. Come up to turn four, has a little look. Not quite there. And Vision it keeps his pressure up and pressures Tool into, into a mistake. And that could help Vision at this stage. And they're the only two people within a second of each other. They're the only two people actually within 18 seconds of each other. That's how large the field spread has been in this race. There's two big lock up and that is going to invite Vision into that DRS range. Can he get the traction? He's got the older tyres does Vision, but at this stage the older hards will be working better than those newer ones. Into turn one. Vision very close, getting again decent exit out of turn one. Not as close as he was on the last lap. And Tool not looking too good off the exit of turn one. So turn two might be Vision's best bet and making any sort of challenge. Just now just ten laps. It's ten laps to make anything happen, and he's not gonna make anything happen if he touches that curb. has cost Vision a lot of time touching that curb. He's now got to push, got to use that battery. If he wants to keep that DRS as he runs wide again, gets another penalty. Now has six seconds more than Tool. This Tool again locks up into 10.13. If Vision wants this, he's got to make the move and he has to pull away without getting any more penalties. Down the pit straight, Tool deciding not to use overtake, into turn one. Can Vision get the exit that he wants? See, and I just think that mistake on the last lap might just end up costing Vision. It's just too far back again to make anything work. It's got to find a way to make Tool use that battery. So we have yellow flags from McLaren, that is a new squid that has spun. Currently in last place anyway is new squid. I think that He's been lapped by 
most of the field as well. Vision further back on this occasion. It's not close enough. Vision, bit of a slide out of turn one. It's getting close though into turn two and some problem is for him he just doesn't have the ERS at this stage does vision it's a, it's a challenge tool down that pit straight Tool runs wide, vision follows him wide. Now up to eight temps. Vision's got to hold it. It's all small mistake, just about holds at the RS. And small mistakes from Vision aren't helping him, but you can just see the effects of him using the battery that he has in the DRS. Gained half a second down that pit straight. Finds another 10 for turn one as Catsby has made his second pit stop. And comes out in P6, just a few seconds behind Trocker. So we we'll see Catsby, maybe. Give us another fight towards the end of this race. He has pitted for another set of softs. Again, the main focus is the battle for P1. At the moment, against the penalties. It's got to be careful, Vision, at this stage. If you get 27 seconds, I'm pretty sure you will get disqualified. As he runs wide again. Again, doesn't get a penalty on this occasion. But I just think he's keeping his foot on the throttle through that corner so he doesn't lose the DRS and it's just going to get him more penalties. As the gap goes over a second and he's again just about going to hold on to the DRS, I think. He has held it. Wide through the final corner. There's another second to weaving on the straight to break the toe. Vision now up to 21 seconds of penalties in the Mercedes, and I think any chance of two winning this race, any chance of Vision winning this race, probably gone now. Now that he has nine more seconds, again he runs wide. I think at this stage he might have just given up. So no means from wing damage. Where has Vision picked up from wing damage? Because he can't have spun, because he's only two and a half seconds behind. He must have made contact with Tool. Ah, oh, it's going to cost Vision so, so much. It's got a comfortable gap at the moment to Harry in P3, 20 seconds. But he's got 10 seconds more penalties, and with the damage to the front wing, he's going to piss his vision. With just a few laps to go. Doesn't get a penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Oh, vision. Again, people chasing Tool, and yet another one makes a mistake. Vision is going to lose out to Harry. Catsby, like I said, and she's going on balls with Catsby, and like I said, with those fresh softs, he is right on the back of Trocker. The amazing P5 if Catsby can get this position. 
They've got both got no penalties, so they've kept it clean. The Trocker's just saving his ERS. Knows the Catsby was coming. And saved it as the precaution. For the Haas. The softs, the softs will be working so much better than those mediums at this stage of the race. Also, so noticeably, the Visionist came out 5.6 seconds round about behind Harry. On fresh softs, he will be. But at the same time, Vision has to gain those 5 seconds to Harry and then pull 10 seconds on him in just a few laps. He's not going to do it. And here comes Catsby, chooses not to go for the slipstream. Doesn't go for the move into turn one. Now looks to the inside onto the grass. As oh no, they make contact into turn two. He's caught it as Catsby to be fair to him. Just saw him snatch the brake. At the front left and just understeer into the Ferrari. Neither have got damages. Carcraft is coming into the pits, I presume, to put on a fresh set of softs to go for the fastest lap. He's got so much of a gap to the cars behind him. Again, this is now the main battle on track. And it is the only battle on track at the moment. And Catsby, did he just did he give his game plan away? Going for that move. Can he get in a position to challenge the Ferrari? For be a very good P5. To be fair to these two, they've done really well not to have any penalties, and they've split, split up another three seconds. Compared to Vision, who is on 21 seconds of penalties, these two have none between them. Which is really good to see. His vision does set the fastest lap of a 16-1. See if Carcraft can beat that when he comes round on his softs. And Catsby round about seven temps behind Trocker at the moment. On board with the Haas. Yeah, yellow flags and all his car craft. As oh no, Harry spun from P2. And oh, Harry, who looked who had a very easy P2 in the bag, has spun at 10 5. And all of a sudden, vision is through. Does Harry have damage? I can't tell. Yes, he does. And oh, Harry is not going to be able to carry on with that damage. Such a harsh track, and he cuts the corner. Another three seconds, and he will surely have to pit. He's got a minute behind him, to be fair to Carcraft. He will be able to pit. Is he going to pit? Yes, he is. He would probably do a fastest lap attempt as well. And Vision. He's been gifted that P2 back as Vision. As Tool gets another three seconds. He's now up to 15. Right. Vision just didn't get that damage and just kept those penalties away. He probably could have been fighting Tool. And Catsby, notably, has also dropped out of DRS's. Carcraft, after his spin, he has also picked up damage. He's all kicked off in these final 10 laps of the driver's spinning. And notably, he is only now. He's going to lose out to Trocker and Catsby at this rate, is Carcraft. Because he's got the penalties, and he's losing so much time. His vision picks up 24 seconds now, this vision, worth of penalties. And notably, that for vision. As Carcraft comes into the pit again to change that front wing. Vision is very close to being disqualified for track limit warnings. His finger hook gets three seconds. 
and Troc are now off into P4. Katia think his softs of might have just died off. This new squid has got another three seconds. And Vision's got to be careful now, does Vision, that he doesn't get himself a DSQ this late in the race for just track limits. So as he runs wide. And Harry, careful final sector. Not able to take the fastest lap. In the McLaren, he might go again to try and get it on those softs. Still got the battery to do it. Vision running wise and he is running that risk vision. He really is. Again, he runs wide. Carcraft gets another three seconds. He's now up to 12 seconds in the racing points. And Tool is on his final tour. 23 seconds in the lead. He's got 15 seconds. It's three temps up on this lap, so he is pushing on this lap. last lap as Tool. He has made no mistakes as Tool this race. Snoop Spillers gets another 3 seconds, he is now up to 18. Tool runs wide, doesn't pick up a penalty. Through the penultimate corner. Through turn 14 for the last time. And it is what can only be described as a comfortable, comfortable win for two late mates in Hungary in the no assist here. 24 seconds clear of MB Division. Coming up to the final corner now. Around the final corner comes Vision. 24 seconds of penalty, so it'll be P2 for Vision. But then it is a long, long way back to Harry, who's going to be the last car on the lead lap. So Carcraft crosses the line, doesn't get the fastest lap. Harry pushing to see if he can maybe get it and take that point away from Vision. Does Harry get the fastest lap? Don't think he did. Ran out of fuel on the line. But it P3 for Harry. All I, all I have to say from that is from too late, mate. Wow. Champions drive. Pole position. And the race win. Not the fastest lap. And the final order is too late, mate, in first. Emmy Division in second. Harry rounds out the podium. Chocker in fourth. Catsby fifth. Carcraft sixth. Fingerhook seventh. New Squid is safe. And then Learning to Wheel, Dark RT, and Widger being the DNFs. And Thule may nearly 34 seconds ahead of Vision in second. 54 clear of Harry in P3. Everyone else, a minimum, a lap down. Dominant, dominant display. And thank you everyone who tuned in. Sorry we missed the first part of qualifying. Had to get confirmation that I could do this commentary. But thank you for being here. And hope to speak to you soon. Bye.